time on metal detecting and fishing with Romy. Hey everybody, this is a this is a very special video. Um, we all got into this hobby for you know purposes. Well, at least at least the reason I got into this hobby was I I was inspired by seeing some of the videos out there people were posting and um, just the experiences on the beaches and in. I've always loved the beach. I've always loved the ocean. I've always been real connected with the beach and the ocean. And, um, just being around it in any sense is just, I love it. So um, one day I was out fishing and I happened to watch some gentlemen metal detecting. And it was something I was always interested in I mean, as a kid. I think all guys are kind of adventurers at heart, you know, um, I mean, plenty of women too. But I think more of us men really share that uh, passion for going out and treasure hunting and just that experience of uh, you know discovering and, and, and finding something new um, is, is real invigorating to me and so one day I was watching some fishermen out there and um, yeah I mean I was fishing <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I was the fisherman I was watching the metal detectors out there and um, it really looked like something fun plus I was thinking man you know I probably find a lot of lures I've been I've been losing you know that's a good amount of lures I have lost and tackle and stuff. So uh, I invested in a small, um, cheap little metal detector. I think it cost me 50 bucks. I got it off Craigslist and um, it got me going. I found a lot of neat things with it. I first started out the beaches and like I said, I wanted to kind of recover some of the fishing tackle I had lost and things. And I went down to the beach and happened to find some tackle. And you know, first couple of times that was mainly what I was out there to do. And uh, another time I went out and I had talked to a gentleman who was out there hunting and he showed me pictures on his cell phone and told me about some of the things he had found over the years and it really inspired me, you know, I really got got to thinking, well, wow, you know, there's, there's some really neat things I could be finding other than fish and tackle. And so uh, I went into a, a chat forum um, on the computer and I started meet, meeting like-minded people and started talking about the hobby a little bit more and um, seeing some of other people's finds and what was really being found and where it was being found and things like that and of course like most metal detectives I was inspired to go to the beach people I think pick up a metal detector they go right to the beach and if you don't have a, pe a beach nearby you go right to the park um, I guess it's only natural you know these are the, the two available places that you think of first where people are at and they're losing things and um, constant traffic and, and so on and so forth so uh, not to get too far off topic I uh, I went back to the beach and uh, had a whole new mindset now on what I was looking for. You know, I, I didn't want to just find uh, fishing tackle and things, although I was plenty happy finding fishing tackle because it saved me money. And at the time, I was I was sick with cancer and um, I wasn't working. I, uh, I had taken off work um, of a job I had worked over the last 14 years to to battle cancel uh, cancel to cancel out cancer. <laughs> And uh, I kicked cancer's butt. It took me some time, but I really pay tribute to metal detecting. Um, that really helped. And uh, I, f I found my first gold ring at the beach. I found a silver ring at a school. And from then on, it's just been, I, I know you guys who share uh, the addiction with me will, will say the same. It's, it's an addiction. It's, uh, once you dig that first piece of treasure, it's, it's uh, I like to say a lot of times it's like fishing. Um, your heart starts racing every time you, you get a bite and you set the hook, the fish is on, you just want to see what's on the end of your line. And same thing as metal detecting, you know, you're digging that hole and you're just excited every time you don't know what's going to come out of that hole. And so this video is really focused on this one find. Um, I've been doing this hobby for about three and a half years now and I've found a substantial amount of gold, I've found silver, I've found platinum. Don't get me wrong, I found some historical things, I found some really neat things, but um, this one find is really sets the bar for me, and it's going to be pretty hard to top this for some time. Um, I have yet to get it appraised, and we will do a follow-up video on that. Um, I have taken it to a couple people, and I have been basically guaranteed that this is real, and it is of substantial value. So I do need to get it looked at. Again, we will make another video out of that. I'll take it down and get it appraised and then have somebody uh, look at it for me and give me a, a, a real estimate on what this thing is worth. But we're gonna start blabbing on. Um, I'll show you the guys the footage here. Uh, <laughs> this hunt was really a pain in my butt. It did not want me to film it. 
um, I went out and I had uh, little batteries on my camera, of which I was charging it in, in the car and, and prior uh, to coming, but I didn't know I had a, a short in my cable. So the camera wasn't charging. So I went out with a dead um, camera and luckily I always have a backup camera. I keep my other GoPro in my glove compartment in case an accident or something happens. Um, I have a camera available for, for footage in that sense. Um, so I grabbed my, my second camera after my first one died. I got hit by a wave. It soaked my shirt. I had to change my dang shirt. Um, and the camera I, I have uh, in the car, I guess the settings are set, screwed up or something. I don't know. I, the, the footage is horrible. I, I think I set it on a lower quality so that way I can get more uh, footage onto the camera. I don't recall what I did. Um, Blah, 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 blah. The camera footage sucks on the second half. I didn't film very much in the first half because I didn't have much battery. So I just bring you guys in on the good finds. And like I said, I'll stop blabbing on. Let's get to the footage. Check it out. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, another adventure with Romy out metal detecting. What do you know? I still like to do that. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's been a good been streaked for me lately so I'm gonna go out and see if I can continue to find me some gold of course looks like my freaking GoPro battery is almost dead <laughs> so we'll keep you guys tuned when we find some good stuff we're already here we're at a different spot so I'm uh, putting batteries in my headlight and I'm gonna grab my gear and get the hell out of the out of the car and onto the sand we'll see you guys soon stay tuned hi right, guys I just got to let see you guys can hear it we got a nice mid-tone here. I've been walking for about, I don't know, half an hour without any targets. Sun's starting to come up. But let's dig this together. Ah, oh, I'm missing it. What the hell is it? Oh, a piece of aluminum. Ah. Dang. Okay, I got it. Oh, I hear a clunk. Oh, yes. Holy crap. What the hell? Did I just freaking... So at this point, I'm like in total shock. I really wasn't expecting to find much. You know, I, like I said, I've been walking the beach for half an hour and hadn't found anything. And then after this point, it gets, I don't know better i don't think it can get better but it just keeps getting good <laughs> oh my god you guys seeing this my camera on oh my god holy crap you guys see this let's rinse it off oh my god did i just get another gold ring <coughs> <coughs> yeah there's markings Oh my God, 14K. Oh my God. Look at that, you guys. Bling, bling. Holy crap. That's gotta be at least like a freaking two carats of diamonds. Holy crap. Are you serious right now? I know you guys can't see me. But I'm about to start doing freaking cartwheels. Holy crap, dude. No way. Is that freaking real? Holy crap, you guys. Look at that. I can't believe I just found that. Holy crap. I can't believe I just found that. That's freaking amazing. Woohoo! All 
All right, gold dance. For my uh, camera falls again. Yes! I got the gold! A massive one! I can't believe the streak I'm on, you guys. Wow, that's retarded. Look at that. Boom! I haven't found much else. I really haven't. I found a couple fishing sinkers. You guys can see inside my scoop here. I mean, inside my. I can never talk. Got like a pair of broken Ray Bans, race car, uh, like a leash with some weights attached. I really don't have crap until I just scored that. Oh my god. Yes! Woohoo! All right, I got a gigantic signal. Little, little signal. Turn on my light here, not that I need it. I think it's gonna be another cell phone. Let's see. Oh, I think I just hit it. I'm be careful not to crack it if it is a cell phone. Oh, it's something big for sure. It's right here. Uh, I don't know about all that. It looks like a pipe. Wesley pipes. But you don't know. Could have a GoPro attached into that pipe. Let's see. I highly doubt it though. It seems like some junk. Ow. Alright, I think I'll leave that. I think I'll leave it. I don't think that'll have a GoPro on the end of that. That's just some junk. All right, had to try. Now, as I zigzag down the beach, as I normally do, looking for a productive area full of targets, I turn my back, which is never smart to do, on a wave, and well, it got me pretty good, and. Got my GoPro wet, got my shirt completely soaked, and, it, you know, it's not super cold or anything out, but I had to go change my shirt. And good time, too, because my GoPro died, and so I switched cameras. And sorry for the rest of the footage, it's kind of crappy, but it still got some good finds. Cool, it's been a while since I dug one of these. Looks like a nice knife. Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice knife. Tack force. All right. That was a score. I like that. I'll take that home and clean it up. Sweet. Let's throw it in the scoop. Into it out a little bit. Ah, sweet. I love finding knives. That's a cool find. All right. Having a good night. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. Got another iPhone. Sweet, I didn't kill it. It's an iPhone 5 though. And that one's not gonna be waterproof. Bummer. Oh, iPhone S. I don't know much about these things. But I got an iPhone. Let's see if it turns on. Nope. All right, add that to the collection. These. Got a really loud signal here. Bring guys in on live dig. It's now after five in the morning, so I can turn my light on without having to worry about being busted. But, oh, geez, what the hell is that? Oh, geez, I don't know what the hell that is. All right, well, let's get it out of the ocean. Again, this thing's heavy, and it came up like gold. Just turn on the light. Oh yeah, what do we got here? Let's rinse it off. It looks like maybe even platinum. Oh yes! Man, I've been doing so good. Oh, it's 19.5. Oh, but it's Tiffany & Co. Yeah! I just got a Tiffany & Co. Oh, beautiful. That ain't gold, but that might as well be. Tiffany & Co. Silver, baby. Let's turn on the light. 
You see, I see that? T and Co right there. Yeah! Score! Silver smile. Yeah! Sweet! Well, this guy's struggling. Let's get him back in the ocean. Poor guy. It's like a little, uh, I don't know what he is. Maybe he's a baby uh, yellowfin croaker? I don't know. Let's help him back to the surf, though. He's not too happy. He's not too happy. All right, fishy. Swim. Swim. You can do it. Don't get beached again. Come on. Where'd you go? There he is. Swim. Swim. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. All right, I think he's gone. Nope, there he is. Go on, buddy. Go on. Boo! Man, it's going to be hard to get out in those waves. Well, I did my part. Hopefully he makes it out. Good luck, buddy. All right, guys. I think that's it. The sun's coming up. I got a concert to attend today. Holy crap, it was my best day ever. I got that massive, massive gold diamond ring. I got a Tiffany & Co. ring. I got uh, a couple iPhones. I got, uh, I don't know, 10 pairs of sunglasses. Maybe $2 and change. A really cool knife. So, what a good night. What an amazing night. Man. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, we'll show you guys the wrap up here in a little bit. Stay tuned. Thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye bye.